this time of year, well, this year especially for the first time in 17 years, there's something going on. You can't really hear them in the background much. They've been coming out since I've noticed here, since about the 22nd. And you hear it, if you, if you stop and listen, you hear zzz, zzz, and a lot of people call them locusts, but they actually are. They're called 17 year cicadas, and this is brood number 14, which is a, just a name for the 17 year cicadas that emerged in 1991, and now they're emerging again in 2008. But they, they really, they don't have any defenses. I mean, there's, they can't, they can't really bite you or anything. No, they can't bite. They, they really, they don't do any harm, right. you know, to people. And their life cycle, what they'll do is in, over the next three weeks or so, two or three weeks, they will mate, lay eggs, and die. Um, and what they'll do is they'll, they'll go to these trees and slit open a twig uh, out near the end of a limb, and they'll, they'll lay their eggs right they'll in, like in the They'll say like six or seven little slits, right. yeah. And uh, then <clears throat> those eggs will hatch and the larvae will, will drop to the ground, dig into the ground, and then they spend the next 17 years uh, feeding on the sap from the tree roots. What a life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, it's kind of an underground life, I guess, <laughs> I guess you'd say. So the, the, the majority of the life cycle is spent underground, and then the adults are just up here visible for a few days. Now, what happened this year? Usually they all come out at one time, but we've had such wacky weather this year. Yeah, it, it's uh, their emergence is always keyed to soil temperature, and this year we've had all these cool nights. And uh, like <clears throat> in 1991, uh, during the last emergence, we had really hot weather in May, and uh, I was over in Red River Gorge, and there was just a huge emergence, you know, just all at once. What likes to utilize these as oh, food? Uh, everything. I mean. Snakes, mice, shrews, birds of all kinds, uh, and you know a number of even insect species will eat these. Right. But, uh, it's a it's a bonanza. It's you know it's like if there was a a great big sale at McDonald's. You know, once every <laughs> 17 years, people that normally wouldn't eat McDonald's even will eat McDonald's. This right. this emergence uh, has three different species in it. And I've got two of them here. If you look at these two cicadas, one of them is uh, completely black uh, on the underside of the abdomen, and the other one is edged with orange. And these are actually two different species. Huh. And so these orange edged ones will have a different song than the, than the black edged ones, and they find each other and they mate and lay eggs, and then the black ones do the wow. same thing. And then there's a third species that's larger than either of these two. It's pretty good size, about an inch and a half long. Right. Uh, and so all of these are part of brood 17. In the grand scheme of nature, even fertilizer, I suppose, when they all yeah. die oh, in, sure. in these huge... Yeah, and you know, what you see right here at the base of this tree, there are, I would say, close to a thousand cases uh, from where these things have emerged just at the base of this one elm tree here. Mm -hmm. And you multiply that by, you know, all the trees in the forest, and it's pretty amazing. And then all these things will die, and uh, they'll all decompose, and the nutrients go into the ground. The uh, the burrows that, that the nymphs make when they come up to the surface, uh, that when it rains, that allows the water to get all the way down to the tree roots. Um, <laughs> when they lay eggs in the in the twigs, and it kills the tip of the twig, but then that stimulates new growth, and that stimulates like the oaks to flower, so it increases acorn production. So it's it's, it's good for anything that eats acorns or beech nuts or any other wow. kind of. So a lot of people assume these things are horrible. They call them locusts, and locusts are. Locusts grass, or grasshoppers. Grasshoppers that eat. Yeah, that's eat right. the stuff you don't want them to eat. <laughs> that's right. These guys are really not eating much of anything, are they? Uh, no, not much. They, they, eating, they don't even feed as adults. So. They, they've been eating for 17 years. they got other yeah. things on their mind now. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a couple calls. People want to know if they're good bait. Yes. And what you're going to find out in, in, in all these major hatches, you're going to find fish relating to the surface that you don't normally, well, they always do. Fish are opportunists. If they find something they can eat on top, they'll get it. If you can grab some, even in that stage. Yeah, this stage is probably better than uh, yeah, you know, than the, the hard to adult stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is fairly soft and pretty palatable. Mm -hmm. and hey, you got some good bait. And it's cheap, but you better get it while it's hot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming out and talking with us. Cause, okay. Because a lot of people have misconceptions. They call them locusts, all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. With these cicadas, again, the brood, brood number, number fourteen. 14. Oh. You're going to hear them every year, but this year, 
You may have already seen him. We're just getting him here in, in this part of the state, yeah. but this is going to go on a couple of weeks, and I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I mean, it'll be 2025 before you have a chance to experience these again. Right.